although this is my daily commute, this time it's a bit different. All right, face covering check, temperature is what we're gonna do now, and social distance, that should work. Morning, good, how are you? Right here? Yes, and I'm going to do Are you ready? There we go. Is it good? It's good, we can enter, yay! Thank you. Good morning. Welcome to Disney Springs. It is about 11.30. I think the first ones came in around 9. Everything opened at 10. We decided to wait it out so we were not caught and like uh, all the people. We drove in. Um, we were lucky. Somebody drove away and we had a spot. We had a really good spot. Uh, parking wise, I think it's a win for City Walk. Um, this was like a bit all over. But still, it was like easy to find a place. Uh, temperature screening, super nice, went super well. And now it's time to go and explore. Let's do it, man, I missed this. I missed this so much. Let's do it. Congratulations, by the way. Have a good day. And it's a particular nice day to be back hot Florida weather uh, but so far so good everybody is keeping on their face mask not everything is open what is open is a fan favorite chicken guy and we're getting closer to lunch you can definitely see that what a line Wow. This is line still going. Restaurant is there. This is still going. Um, there's some social distance. There's also no markings on the floor. Would have been easier to have a way in, way out. Unfortunately, uh, that didn't happen. The end of the line for the chicken guy. Some stores are open, like Colombia. Others, like Tommy Bahama, stay closed. This is also a partial reopening. There's another part next week, in about seven days, we are gonna see the Disney owned and operated shops and restaurants open. So that's gonna be a big step as well we still have to wait a week for that but in the meantime it's great to see this place coming back to life and it's just nice walking around here I like Disney Springs as we're close to lunch and we saw the long line at the chicken guy let's go take a look at another favorite and a personal favorite of mine by the way to my surprise Zara is open and so is the welcome center which surprised me but it's good they're they're here if you should have any questions or concerns Nice to see those cast members again. Deluxe Burger is Disney operated, so that will open next week. And Blaze Pizza. This is actually not that bad. 
I mean, this is a weight you would normally see, like, and there's well-maintained distance. They also have markers in that waiting line. So this is good. Really nice. Tables, nicely separated one from another. And another thing, they opened all the tra trash cans so you don't have to push anything to throw away your trash. Uh, look at the beauty of Disney Springs. There is a good thing about having these kind of temperatures is that my glasses don't fog up as fast as they do because it's already pretty warm. So I guess that's a good thing. They did already prepare for next week's opening. Tables are all out. Extra tables are out with the distance and some construction is going on. Man, I'm happy to see this. And it's nice to see the places that are open like Frontera. And even the places that are not open already have markings on the floor for possible weight lines like you have right here at the Pandora jewelry store. I don't know if this got any delays. A new Lululemon store coming to Disney Springs. One of the new additions, Ron John Surf Shop is open, but no line. And there is a bit of a line here at the Polite Pig. With tables also apart from each other. They also took the other side of the walkway. Being here on a reopening day means that you basically see more people talking to their cameras, just as I, than regular visitors. So now it's like, oh, look at that. Somebody who's not filming or not filming themselves eating. Talking about eating, we will be back tonight we have a dinner at the boathouse so be sure to check out that video if you never want to miss a video be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications if you want to be notified of new videos but then you'll have a look as well what it's like to have dinner at Disney Springs in the times we're in. And there's a Starbucks location open, which is good. This wasn't the case at City Walk. Starbucks was closed, so it's nice to see it open. This stage won't be used for quite a while. Also, no entertainment. All the bands playing won't be back for quite some time. The Four Rivers food truck 
is open and has no line. And one of our favorites, Basin, has reopened as well. So let's go take a look. Hi. Hi. Oh, nice and cool here. You can still wash your hands and they have individual spatulas to put it on your hands, which is nice. And something they did before the closure was take away the open pieces of soap that you could take a little smell. So these are still gone, which is normal. But it's nice to to have it open again. This didn't even come as a surprise. Arebus Brothers is open and I want to go take a look inside because how do you Okay. So this one has a dedicated place to enter. Hi. Thank you. I thought that this would have been like Disney operated as well. Uh, yeah, some beautiful artwork. Oh, and they closed off the piece that goes to the co-op. And that will open next week. We'll go take a little walk and then draw all the the shop and the milkshakes aren't open. That will be for next week. This will be the part that is mostly closed because it's Disney operated. Still, it's been a long time, so I want to do a little stroll. upon a toy more vloggers bloggers press all of sandwich is open and does have a nice line as well I think so far Blaze was the best waiting line. They do still respect the social distance here. Chicken guy was the least effective for the social distance. Days of Christmas and Goofy's Candy Company and we'll be open next week. There's no word on rainforest. But as with the other places that are closed, they do already have the markings on the floor to wait on the bridge there's no left right situation going on so it can get tricky to keep your distance paddlefish 
and right in front of us, T-Rex. They also placed these little hand wash stations with a foot pump to get the water out to wash your hands. We had right next to it some more signage. Is open for business and does have a line, so definitely there's more vibe, more people than we saw last week at City Walk. And here at the Paddlefish, they did decide to put some signage on the floor with a walk direction, although. Some people care more about Instagram than the way to walk. Paddlefish that is still closed for the moment. So is Raglan Road and Cooks of Dublin. Of course, bars are still not allowed to open, so they remain closed hand sanitizers. Uh, the bakery is open and Chapel Hats is also open. So if you need to cover yourself for the sun you can come into Chapel Hats and find a cool headpiece. As I mentioned we'll be here tonight the boathouse which right now has quite a line to get in we do have reservations so I don't know if all these people have reservations for lunch or are just walk-ins but this line is pretty close and there's only markings for about three families so I'm not sure if all the rest is like six feet Anyways, it's good to see the boathouse back open. And Joffrey's Coffee is also back open. There was a line here this morning. We saw that on Twitter. People waiting to get their coffee early in the morning. We'll be back to grab a coffee in the morning as I said before this little area will be pretty calm as no bands will be playing in a near future wine bar George is open wine bar it's like but they serve food so they're allowed to open that's good and this guy wore his castle hat. It's a bit early maybe to celebrate. We're still waiting for the parks. Jock Lindsay's hangar bar is Disney owned and operated. They do serve food, so we'll see if they open next week. And if they do, I'll be here for sure. Of course, all the boat landings will be pretty calm until the resorts open again. And there's some small shops here that have reopened as well SDK reopened as well I do think that you're pretty close when you sit here you're pretty close to the people that are just gonna line up or look at the menu but SDK is open Maria and Enzo is still closed. Eh, I don't think we miss a lot. 
and here another bridge with markings on the floor so keep right not sure when and if they're gonna let up this big boy soon but it's one step I don't know if they already looked in how they can keep distance with a 360 walk around balloon we saw one Starbucks that opened this one is still closed let's hope they'll open soon as well and if I have it correct they also filed to remodel this Starbucks I thought it was this one still looks pretty good to me if it's not write it down in the comments I could be mistaken a lot of Disney shops so that's all for next week with the Disney owned and operated places opening next week I think this place is gonna be way more vibrant although I really can't complain there's quite a lot of people here Sunglass Hut is open Pele Soccer is open and the cigar store so if you can't fill your lungs with a deadly virus at least do it with deadly smoke a new Ample Hills location coming here I know that Ample Hills was on shaky financial grounds so it's good to see that they still might open here because I do like Ample Hills it's pretty good Kaleo is still closed and this is one of the places and especially Jose Andres that did a lot to help people during and to help the, their own people, the employees here during this pandemic. So we'll definitely come eat here out of appreciation. And there in the forest corner, there's a M&M store coming to Disney Springs. That's still in the makes, but this will be the new home for the M&M store. House of Blues is still closed. So is the NBA store and the NBA experience. I don't think anybody's crying about that. And City Works restaurant is closed as well and the very last thing Cirque du Soleil that had a new show coming has of course postponed all performances and the grand opening of the new show until further notice I want to come back at House of Blues again. So this was it for now from Disney Springs. As I said, we're back here tonight to have dinner at the Boathouse. That will be another video. So be sure to check that out. Thank you for joining us in another step closer to the things that we were used to. Uh, and this is, this is a nice one. Um, I really enjoy Disney Springs. I think I'm gonna be here pretty often. As long as the parks don't open, this will be the closest thing we get to Disney. So I'll be here. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you real soon. Bye guys.